This is Eva Brown. She works in the traffic department at Station KTRE, keeping logs of which commercials and public service announcements run and at what time. It's a complex job requiring concentration and special skills. There's none of the clamor and excitement usually associated with the television industry. But what most people don't realize is that Eva Brown plays another role at KTRE. Oh my god, pit stains! The transformation is really just like amazing. I mean, if I didn't know even, I just like walked into a room and saw her in costume and makeup. I wouldn't have known it was her, you know? But Cindy Fisher isn't the only person at KTRE who's been confused and befuddled. I remember the first week I started working here. Went in to clean the ladies' room. There was this guy standing there with a red shirt, overalls, and a black cape. And I thought, this guy must be some kind of weirdo or something, or a pervert. Later, I found out it was Eva. Macho, macho man. I want to be a macho man. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm ready. Let's get started. Oh, darling, I'm glad you're here. You sit down. Here we see Eve, internationally yes, acclaimed hairdresser and cosmetologist, Mr. Jim, as they begin the painstaking three-hour process and will transform her into horror classics host, so hi, Count Bubba, good buddy of darkness. Eva is just a joy to make up. I've worked with all the big stars and by far she is the pleasantest. You wouldn't believe what an absolute bitch some celebrities can be. Charles Bronson comes to mind first and foremost, but that's a long story. Anyway, turning Eva into Bub is a long process and requires lots of steps, but she's very pleasant and we just have a good time. Well, Eva's just so super to work with. She's a marvelous talent and very innovative in her comedic styles. I mean, the pressure of live television really gets to a lot of people. It turns them into crazy animals, like Belushi and that whole... Well, you know what I mean. But uh, it doesn't affect Eve at all. She's a super girl. Super. hard, the hours are long, and the pace demanding, but in the end, it pays off. Public response to Count Bubba has been phenomenal. East Texans have taken the jovial vampire and his slapstick antics to heart. Count Bubba's popularity rose to such heights that it eventually eclipsed that of former weatherman Dave Watson, who left the station amid a whirlwind of controversy. Watson still claims that his reasons for leaving were purely professional and that he and Bubba remain close personal friends. Oh, wow, nifty makeup I like. Oh, wow. Mr. Jim, do you have any... Finally, the moment arrives for Eva to enter the studio and introduce the film. What's blood got to do, got to do with it? What's blood but a secondhand bodily fluid? Oh, no! Oh, my. oh, God! Are you okay? Hey, hey! Oh, man, I didn't mean to... I didn't see you sitting there. <laughs> oh, hey, we're on the air! <laughs> well, welcome to Horror Classics. It is I, Count Bubba, good buddy of darkness. Oh! 